Hello everyone, this is Charlie from Frank Scolari. Sorry for uploading lots of, you know, news. There's so much news on the day. But this news might be very sad to a lot of people. And that is... NECA is sadly shutting down their Godzilla line. And are never doing any Godzilla figures again. And they're probably going to shut down their actual toys. Or get rid of them. And it's very sad to me. Because NECA is one of the best... God is one of my favourite Godzilla toy. NECA makes some really good Godzilla action figures. Because I can't get the SH Monster Arts figures. I have one, but... They're too expensive, like, they cost around, like, $300, um, or $90 of Big Bad Toy Store. And NECA, um, was more cheaper than SH Monster Arts, they only costed, like, $30, or $40, or, or 10 or 20 if you live in the United States, but, yeah, it's really sad to me. And there's still more figures that I'm gonna get. They're not doing anything with Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, why they're shutting their store down, you're probably asking. It's because Playmates have now taken over the Godzilla line. And have now, um, you know, taken over the line and also telling NECA to go and screw yourselves. And, you know, and, you know NECA just decided to, you know, shut down Godzilla business. Farewell, NECA. We'll miss you. But... Um, they still are two new figures out, uh, the Kiri, uh, not Kiryu, Godzilla 2003 and Godzilla 1989. Sadly, I haven't got those figures yet for my, um, collection. And they're out of stock at Big Bad Toy Store. And I don't, and I have one coming even though it's a, but a NECA. And also, I haven't got Godzilla 1962 as well. And also... I have this guy. Also, there's a bigger version of the 2014 Godzilla that I haven't got yet. I think it's the 12-inch one, but... Yeah. I haven't got it, though, because... And it makes sense if you press the button, but no. I haven't got it yet. And it's $59. Much cheaper than I found that Minotaur, which is, like, 125 And if it ships to Big Red Toy Store, it would be 69 or $70. So... Yeah, this is pretty sad news, I know, but farewell Neko, anyways. Like, I mean, now it looks like the only figures we would need to get is the SH Monster Art figures, as you can tell, which are very expensive. 300 goddamn dollars. Ugh. You guys know what I'm getting, Neko's... I know, I know I love SH Monster Rods, but that's more geared to adults. What are the teens supposed to collect? If Neck is not working anymore, what's the teen teenagers supposed to get for collectible Godzilla action figures? Because the Playmates toys are more made for children, because they're not good quality, as you, as you can tell. Like that Shin Godzilla. Don't even question about it. Anyway... Uh, so yeah, guess we just have to get SH Monster Arts now. It's really cool SH Monster Arts figure. I love this thing. Uh, yeah. Um, put them right there to uh, see the camera. But, you guys, if you if you collect NECA and if you're sad about this news like I am, it is really disappointed that NECA has quitted their Godzilla toys and are now moving on. Uh, they're not doing any Godzilla anymore. It's really sad. I haven't got some other Godzilla action figures yet. And I don't think... I hope they don't end their every action figure that's in stock at toy places. If they do, I am super annoyed. Really annoyed. Because I really need a few um, other Godzilla action figures for my collection. Oh, it's disappointing. Long live the king, my friend.
my last play with a NECA action figure. Anyway, I'm disappointed. Really want these NECA figures. I really want NECA to, you know, come back, but no, they're quitting. Really sad. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And quickly get your NECA Godzilla action figures before they like run out of stock because of NECA. And it looks like we just have to get the SH Monster Ass figures instead for the NECA figures. However, the NECA figures are more cheaper than the SH Monster Ass figures, which is very disappointing to me. Because I wouldn't be able to afford the SH Monster Ass figures because then I have to break my bank for it. Like, the new GMK um, Atomic Breath one is actually available off Big Bad Toy Store now for $94. Plus $109 shipping, or 10 and that's going to cost $104 to deliver to my own country, or 105 or whatever. I don't really know what number it is, probably just 104, but... It's so sad, I guess I have to just root for SH Monster Arts now, because, you know, NECA is sadly out of the gate. And I remember first time getting this action figure, the 1954. I remember getting this guy off... Um, from one of my friend's house, he was near a collector's shop, and he got one. And it looks like, and, oh man, not he got one, I got one, sorry. Got one for 40 bucks. And, yeah. It's just so disappointing, like, I mean, really, really neat. I really need to complete the, um, Neko Godzilla collection before they go extinct, which they might. All the figures. And they might be available at Lobos, but they're just going to cost like 59 bucks, which is like very expensive for just a NECA figure. And very annoying. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Uh, well. I guess... SH Monster Arts won the fight. Deck is over. SH Monster Arts wins. I'm very disappointed. SH Monster Arts is more for adults than really teens. So how are you supposed to like... Oh, subscribe. See you guys next time. Um, anyway, like the video. Share it. If, you, if you're so... Um, tell your friends about that SH Mon... That um, neck is over. Share it to your friends because, you know, if they don't know about this news, then yeah. See you guys next time. Look how beautiful he looks. Like, yeah. Anyway, bye.